Hello, my name is Ardi and in this tutorial, I will teach you on how to using Kirchhoff rules from this example here, step by step. So the first step that we need to do is we need to label all the branch currents and then loop currents and then the voltage signs of its components, right? So we need to label all the components. Label, the first one is the branch current. Branch currents. Okay, and we already given by the problem. So we will have I1 is here. And then I2 is this one here. So this is I2. And this is I1. And then this is I3. This is I3. That's why I3. Okay, that is all the branch current. If you are not given by the problem, you can draw it yourself. The direction is up to you as long as you are consistent with uh, during the solving of the problem. Okay, now after the branch currents, we need to label the loop currents. What is a loop? A loop is a window between its components here. So here, I will have this loop here. So in this window, and this loop, this current loop is the same as I1 here, I1, right? Because the direction is the same as, it is the only current that pass through this 30 ohm resistor. Why it is not the same as I3? Because I3 have the other loops going on from here, right? And speaking of the other loops, we can also label the other loops here. I want the direction to be the same as I2, so we don't need to deal with negative sign here. So this is the second loop that we need to see. So we will have this is I1 and this is I2, right? Because if you see here, it is the only current that pass through this 1 ohm resistor and this 20 ohm resistor. So we have labeled the branch currents and we also label the loop currents. And then the last one, we need to label the voltage signs, right? Voltage signs of its component. Okay, now maybe let's use another color here. And let's start from the battery here. The long one here is positive, right? Positive polarity. And then the short one is the negative polarity here, okay? And also we have another battery which is 80 volt here. The long one is the positive polarity and the short one is the negative polarity, okay? And how about the resistor? Okay, let's see the arrow of the current. So remember the current is, the electric current is flowing from the positive polarity to the negative polarity. So I1 is flowing from this branch here I mean this node here to this H node here. So this one is positive and this one is negative because the current is flowing from here to here, right? And then what can we do another? We have this I3 here. I3 is flowing from here to here. So in this one ohm resistor, I will have positive sign here and then negative sign here. Okay, that's good. And this 40 ohm resistor also the same. So I will have positive sign here and negative sign here. Good. And then for this 20 ohm resistor, I2 is flowing from here to there. So I will have positive sign here and negative sign here. Good. And then for one ohm resistor, I also have the same. So positive sign here and then negative sign here okay and that's good so we have finished the step number one so now the second one is apply Kirchhoff junction rule Kirchhoff junction rule or 
I am an electrical engineer, so I usually use the Kirchhoff current rule or Kirchhoff current rule, current law, yeah, or that will be KCL. So we see the junction. We can either see the A or we can see the D. So I want to see this not here so we will have kcl at not a okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out right and so what is the current that goes in into not a we see here i3 is going in into not a right so we will have i3 the only current that goes in and then on the right hand side i will have the other currents which is going out so i will have i1 and then plus i2 okay maybe let's have this as equation number one so this is the second step of this equation and then we need to do the third step which is apply kirchhoff loop rule or the Kirchhoff voltage law or KVL. Let's see the third step then and let's clean up the slide first. Okay, this is the only equation that we got so far, but now we need to do the third step, which is apply Kirchhoff loop rule. Loop rule or some electrical engineer call it Kirchhoff voltage law. Kirchhoff voltage law. And now we're looking at the loop and not the branch. Okay. What does KVL say? KVL say that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. So that is KVL, and then let's let's see at loop I one, okay? At loop I one, what can we see at loop I one? And we need to see component by component, right? Okay, maybe I will start from this battery here, this forty five volt, and take a look here. The current is flowing from the negative polarity to positive polarity. So our sign will be negative. So we'll have minus and the voltage will be 45. So I'll have minus 45. Good. And then let's move on to this resistor here. The value is 1 ohm. But remember, we need voltage to get it into voltage. We need to multiply it by the current. What is the current? The current that flows through this 1 ohm resistor is not this loop I1, but this I3 here. But then the sign is positive because the I3 flowing from this positive sign to negative sign here. So I will have plus, plus, and I will have 1 ohm, but then that will be multiplied by I3, right? Okay, that is this 1 ohm resistor and now let's move on to this 40 ohm resistor again it's flowing from positive to negative so i will have positive sign and then the value of the resistor is 40 but then we need voltage again we multiply it by uh, the current so i'll have i3 here so the current that flows here is i3 not i1 or i2 right because we need to do some arithmetic if we do that so i3 is the one and then let's move on so we have four components in this loop right so i will have 30 ohm here so i will have 30 ohm and then we need to multiply it by the current to get the voltage so i will have 30 multiplied by i1 Okay, and all of that will equal to zero. Maybe let's move this little bit here. So I will have 
all of that will equal to zero. Okay. And now let's do some arithmetic here. So I will have 30 I1. 30 I1. And then plus 41 I3. And then let's move this minus 45 to the right hand side. I will have that will equal to 45. Okay. And I think there is nothing that we can do much here. So let's let's name this equation as equation number two. Okay, that's good. So now we have another loop, but then we need to work with loop I2. Let's play the same game again. So I have add loop I2. Or maybe let's use different color here. Let's use purple. Okay, let's do that. So we will have add loop I2. Add loop I2. Let's use green again. Okay, now let's work with this voltage source first or the battery first. And let's see the current here. I2 is flowing from negative polarity to positive polarity. So I will have minus sign so we have minus 80 and then plus plus y plus because the resistance here we have positive polarity so i will have plus and then the value is one so we have one and then the current is i2 that pass through it right so i will have i2 and let's do the same again with this 20 ohm resistor the sign is flowing from positive to negative, so I will have plus sign, so I will have 20. And the current is I2, right? Because all this branch is I2. Have I2. Good. And now let's move on to this part here. And again, I will have this I2 is flowing from negative polarity to positive polarity so i will have minus 45 and minus 45 and then what else i will have i will still have plus uh one multiplied by i3 right so i'll have i3 and then 40 plus 40 multiplied by I3. Okay. Yeah, I think we got all the components, right? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, all the 6 components is here. So all of that will equal to 0. And let's do some arithmetic here. So I will have 21 I2. 21 i2 and then what else plus 41 i3 so i will have 41 i3 and then what else yeah minus 80 minus 45 is 125 and we move it to the right hand side, I will have 125. Okay, and this is equation number 3. Okay, so far, I will have one equation, two equation, three equation. So we have three equation and three variables. So we can move on to the step number 4. Okay, let's solve this linear system equation. Okay, let's do exactly that. And now we go to the final step, which is solve the equation. So we'll have step number four, solve the equations. Solve the equations, okay. Maybe let's substitute one into two, right? So we will have 30 I1 plus 41 I3. What is I3? I3 is I1 plus I2, right? So we can do substitution here. I2 plus 
I3. And all of that will equal to 45. So I will have 30 I1. This is I1, right? Not, not I2. 30 I1. And then plus, let's distribute this 41. Oh, this is this is I1 plus I2. Yeah, I made mistakes. So I'll have I1 and I2. Let's distribute this 41. So I will have 41 I1. And then plus 41 I2. And that will equal to 45. And so we will have, what is it? 71 I1 plus 41 I2. And that will equal to 45. Maybe let's have this as equation number 4. And then what can we do? Let's plot another I3 here to this one. So we will have 21 I2 plus 4 I3. Is it? Oh, that is 41 I3. Yeah, this is 41 I3. So I'll have 41. And then we substitute this one again. So I will have I2 plus I3. And that will equal to 125. And so I will have, oh, that this is I1 and I2. Why do I keep making mistakes? I1 and I2. So I will have 41 I1. Okay, 41 I1. And then 21 plus 41, that will be 62. So I will have plus 62 I3. Ah, that is not I3. I2. I2, and that will equal to 125. And this is equation number 5. Okay, we reduce from three variables to two variables. I think we can solve the equation number four and five. Okay, let's clean up the board first. Okay, I think we got so much trouble from here. Let's just use calculator from here to solve this second order equation. So let's do equation number five. And then two variables is number one. And I will have 71, 41, and then 45. Okay, and then I will have 41, 62, and then 125. So I will have I1 is minus 0 0.86. I1 is what? Minus 0 0.86. Minus 0 0.86. And the unit will be ampere. And then what is I2? I2 is 2.58. So I'll have 2.58. And the unit will be in ampere. And then what is I3? I3 is just the sum of all of them. So I will have, okay, let's set up as this. So I will have minus 0 0.86 and then plus 2.58. So I'll have 1.72. And the unit is ampere. And I think that's all the answer for this example. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.